Om Shanti, welcome back. Today we are doing the recording of 6th of August Gauti Blessing where Supreme God Father wants us to make our words and our actions elevated. So God says, make your, may you make your words and actions elevated with your elevated and pure attitude and become a world transformer. See, people in this world are looking for examples and samples and not just those people who talk about how change is important and what change needs to be brought about. They are the change, they walk the change and they talk the change and they behave the change. That's what the world is looking for. So then God says the children who finish their weak attitudes and make a vow to have a pure and elevated attitude, see this world as elevated. So if it's always mentioned, the color of the world is depending upon the color of the glasses which you wear. So the soul also has a vision about the world. Each being has got an attitude towards the world. If you want to see negative in everything, impure in everything and everybody, our attitude becomes impure and we start cursing this world, cursing the governments, cursing the people, cursing the religions. And that's where we make ourselves impure and our attitude becomes impure. And a person with this kind of negative impure attitude cannot ask somebody else to become pure and more peaceful and more happier. Think about it. So then God says, your attitude has a connection with your vision and your actions. It does affect them. Anything good or bad is first of all imbibed by your attitude and it is then put into words and actions. To have an elevated attitude means that your words and actions will naturally be elevated. The vibrations and atmosphere are created by your attitude. Whether it's your office, whether it's your house, the vibrations and atmosphere is created by the attitude. Anything happens, any situation comes, any wrongdoing happens in your family, in your office, it depends upon how do you tackle it, with what attitude. You can blame, complain, criticize or you can find solutions. Finding faults or finding solutions. Finding why it happened, okay. But after finding why it happened, then finding solutions without complaining, criticizing and comparing. So God says it's all about the attitude. So people with the attitude, they fly higher. But people who get stuck about blaming, criticizing, complaining, they are stuck there, whereas the person who is smarter, he'll cross the riddle, find out the solution, cross the hurdle and be there where that person is supposed to be at the goal. So God says those who make a vow to have an elevated attitude automatically become world transformers because people see them. They walk the talk and they think and they act and they talk and all these three things are equal. There's no difference between all these three things then you have an elevated attitude. But if you think something else, you talk something else and you act in some other manner, nobody is going to believe in us. Nobody is going to believe in you. Nobody is going to believe in me also. So that is what God wants us to change our attitude so that we become an example of a world transformer. We can transform worlds many times, not just once, but many times by changing our simple attitude. So God has said one thing very important. Anything good or bad is first of all imbibed by your attitude and it is then put into words and actions. We see some negative vibration. We change our attitude towards that person. And then because of the change of attitude towards that person, we have bad impure thoughts. Our words change towards that person. For some time you're happy with that person till the time that person is doing your work. Immediately when that person doesn't listen to you or does something wrong, our attitude towards that person changes, our words and our actions also, everything changes. And that decides how successful are we going to be. You too can learn this beautiful knowledge at Brahma Kumari's Godly Spiritual University. Changing attitudes is not just a decision. It is a work. It is an art. And that is what we learn at Brahma Kumari's. With this Om Shanti.